the menace, the oral hygienist. Open your mouth for about four or five minutes. <laughs> hey, no, stay away from rap, man. Okay, right, okay, I'm sorry. Hey, this is for the April 4th fight for the WBO cruiserweight, WBA cruiserweight title. My apologies, the interim title. Whenever I hear that, I just say, oh, they wanted to make some more money. <laughs> you know, like WBA, WBO. Um, anytime you hear interim uh, on that, it's like, yeah, we're going to have you hold the title till we get somebody that we really want to have the title hold it, you know. But we still want your sanctioning fees, you know, that kind of thing. And it's just bull. It's crap, man. Whatever. Anyway, this is between uh, Den Denise uh, or Dennis Lebedev. And uh, Sean Cox. And uh, I'll break the fighters down and give my prediction at the end. We'll go with Dennis uh, Lebedev. He's 23-1-0 and 1 and 0 with 17 knockouts. He's, uh, I mean, he lost a split decision to Marco Hook. He retired Roy Jones Jr. He retired, kind of like beat up on uh, James Toney. KO'd uh, Macronelli. So, uh, you know, he's he's... He's okay. He's not... I'm not going to say he's great, but he's okay. I mean, he's... He's beating up all the old guys, though. I don't know why he's got to beat up on old dudes. Get that Social Security card or something. Social Security or what? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why he's punching old guys in the face. That's messed up, man. You're supposed to respect your elders, bro. Anyway, you know, he's uh, he's got good power. And he's got a lot of experience. A lot of uh, rounds with world-class opponents. When you look at that, he's also a southpaw, and he's he does active, but he does get touched a bit in the in the fights and stuff. He he can get touched. He fight he has that jab. He get, works the head to body with the jab, in there. He keeps his distance. A lot of lead lefts, in there. Covers up well. Throws a lot of combos, one twos, one two threes. And when you see it, he's got good hooks and he throws hooks with both hands, and you like that, to see that with a fighter. Like I said, I mean he's he's hung in there with with a lot of the goods in the cruiserweight division. And then you go over to a guy like Sean Cox, who's 37 years old, and, you know, he's more of a heavyweight, kind of like shrunk down. I mean, he's 6'1", so he's not like massive, but he's he's taller than I am. Anyway, you know, he's a, he's going to be the taller fighter, the bigger fighter with more power, because he's 16 and 1 with 15 knockouts. And, I mean, he crushed uh, Braithwaite. Wayne Braithwaite, he just crushed him in the first round, just beat the shite out of him. But, you know, Braithwaite's kind of finished. I mean, he lost, what, five of his last six or seven fights, you know. Uh, he turned pro at 33 years old, so not a lot of pro experience. In fact, when you look, he's only got uh, 38 rounds of experience in there, and he went the distance. He went 12 rounds once. So you take that away, you've got, like, 16 fights... In, in 26 rounds. So <laughs> he does not have a lot of uh, time at all. But then again, when you're punching a guy in the head and he goes to sleep, you know, it's hard to get those rounds in when you have that kind of power. But, you know, not a lot of ring experience. Really hasn't fought a lot of top guys. You know, he, uh, he's uh, got his low hands. He swings wide. You know, he's a southpaw as well. You know, every punch he throws is with power. But, you know, you got to wonder about the weight. I mean, he's uh, dropping down to 199, you know, or 200, whatever. Weight, I mean. And he, he's dropping down there. And then you have to wonder about the stamina because, I mean, he, he went 12. That's the one he lost, obviously. And you have this uh, big thing in there of can he do it? Um, it? Will he have the stamina against a smarter guy that knows, hey, I'm going to wade through the first four or five rounds you know, protect myself well, work the body, pound the body, and get him into the later rounds, drag him into that deep water. Will he have the stamina? Will he have that ability? And that's really what you're looking at in this fight is, can the power carry Cox? Will Cox just simply blast Lebedev out of the water like he has 15 of his 16 opponents that he's beaten, that is? Will, will, will that happen, or... Will Cox tire out? Will he be able to last? You know, the stamina. Can Cox's chin hold up? Because let's be honest, he really hasn't been in there enough for us to even know that. He's just knocking dudes out left and right. I mean, Tommy Hearns did the same thing for a long time. 
just drilled people. And then finally, once he got up with guys that could take a good shot and stuff like that and suck it up, you know, because eventually it doesn't matter how hard you punch, there's going to be a dude out there that can take your stuff and then smile at you afterward. And you're like, what the hell am I going to do now, man? I just hit him with my best shot and he smiled at me. And then, you, you know, that's going to mess with you a little bit, especially with the power fighters. Seems like once you get past a couple rounds with them, then they don't have that fallback plan, that B plan. Now again, he's only been fighting for four years. Very active, but he's still only been fighting for four years. And when I looked at this, I think uh, Lebedev takes this fight. I think he takes him late, and I could look for a late round stoppage, like around a tenth round stoppage, just because Cox tires himself out, punches himself out, and then loses, because Lebedev is a legit fighter. So... Uh, I could be going out on a limb here, man. <laughs> so if you had like two extra dollars, you might want to throw it on a knockout. Just saying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> both guys are over like 60% knockout, so you might want to, you know, put a dollar on it. Just saying, you know. All right. Well, anyway, hey, this is a Big Ragu, Guardo, you know, and uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think, all right? Wait. Route.